Hearing the words, it might be cancer, paired with your doctor's concerned look, is life-altering. Getting to the heart of a diagnosis usually requires a surgical biopsy, removal and examination of the suspicious tissue for signs of cancer. Less invasive diagnostics called liquid biopsies bring more choices to doctors and patients. Liquid biopsies are today's reality thanks to our ability to isolate molecules from body fluids. These diagnostic innovations pair technology with the latest in biomarkers' knowledge. They are rapidly gaining acceptance as a reliable way to screen for cancer and to monitor disease progression and response to treatment. A liquid biopsy is a test that can detect the presence of cancer using blood, urine, saliva, or other bodily fluid as the sample rather than tissue from a specific organ. The technique is possible because cancerous tissues shed cells, DNA, and tiny lipid-encased compartments called exosomes. Liquid biopsies detect the presence of these cancer-associated biomarkers. Now that you know a liquid biopsy is a diagnostic, let me explain three types of liquid biopsies in various phases of development that may detect three different cancer biomarkers. The first is cell-free DNA liquid biopsy. When cells in the body die, they release cell-free DNA, including cancer cell DNA. A cell-free DNA liquid biopsy seeks out the cancer cell DNA biomarker. Cell-free DNA diagnostic identifies cancer-specific mutations using PCR or next-generation sequencing analysis. The second is exosome liquid biopsy. Exosomes are lipid-encased vesicles that contain cellular protein, DNA, and RNA, and typically have surface proteins specific to their native cell. These attributes and the fact that they are present in many different body fluids make exosomes a very attractive possibility for liquid biopsy. The idea is to capture exosomes based on cancer-specific surface markers, or to collect exosomes and identify them as cancer, associated by examining the enclosed DNA or RNA. The final category of liquid biopsy is perhaps the most obvious, circulating tumor cells or cells splintered from a tumor and circulating in the bloodstream. The challenge lies in detecting circulating tumor cells. Some estimates classify them as rare as one circulating tumor cell per billion normal cells. Another way to identify circulating tumor cells may be cell size. Circulating tumor cells tend to be significantly larger than other cells in the blood. This size differential may be exploited in a microfluidics-based approach to cell separation. Ultimately, the best liquid biopsies may contain a combination of all the above approaches. Today, Liquid biopsies are mainly used for monitoring the progress of or response to the treatment of already diagnosed cancers, rather than as initial diagnostic tests. A major goal in the field is to develop tests that can be used routinely to detect cancer in seemingly healthy people, which should translate to better treatment outcomes. As the technologies to detect cell-free DNA, cancer-specific exosomes, and circulating tumor cells progress, we can expect to see an increasing number of liquid biopsies available, making detecting and treating a range of cancers less invasive and more manageable.